This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this new free offer from my viewers. Now, I'm pretty sure we all know that inflation is killing our retirements dead. The real rate of inflation? Well, it just won't let you keep up or make a profit. You need a different approach. Precious metals, not Robinhood or stocks that can crash and leave you losing money. An IRA or a 401k with Noble Gold is the answer. And this month, Noble Gold is gifting a genuine, rare Carson City minted Morgan Silver dollar with every qualifying IRA or 401k. You can find out more by clicking the link in the description or pin comment or by just going to noblegoldinvestments.com. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech Politics sent you. In regards to blaming the China label for attacks on Asian Americans, why don't they just blame any criticism of China for attacks on Asian Americans? Well, mark my words because that's coming. Well, look, unfortunately, I'm out of time there. And all these elected officials, when they talk about China, the country, as a rival and an adversary to this country, be careful of your words. That matters, too. And I know there's a lot of fear that as the rivalry heats up with China, that these, these hateful incidents will also increase here. I told you so. Just three days ago, I posted on all my social media accounts and did a video where I predicted the media would soon call any criticism of China an incitement of hate against Asian Americans. I'd like to claim I'm psychic, but these people are just that predictable. We already got a preview of that with Democrats, their state media, and notably China claiming that calling it the virus was actually a racist act that was inciting violence against Asian Americans. Even though they don't have any actual proof of that, and even though calling it the China virus is right in line with how they've always named viruses, by the country of its origin. Adjusted for population, they have the most confirmed cases of the UK variant. And look, again, I'm calling it the UK variant because that's where we be believe the origin is. I'm not blaming the UK for it, okay? It's all been pretty blatantly a part of some kind of a political agenda. The only question is whose agenda and in service of what? Right now, it really looks like it's the Communist Party of China. Then yesterday, I catch notorious media hack and known liar Brian Williams seemingly upset about so-called right-wingers calling China's communists something they blatantly and openly are. Why am I seeing so many people in the cheap seats? And that, by the way, is the definition of Twitter, the cheap seats, talking up some kind of a confrontation, war with China. Why, as I mentioned last night, have have we seen just in the last two weeks mentions, especially on the on the right in the media, of people only calling it a communist China, like when you and I were growing up. But he wants you thinking that something that's normal and obvious is somehow outside the bounds of normalcy which is a favorite tactic of the Democrat state media. That leads us to today where I see yet another notorious Democrat media hack, Chuck Mouseman Todd, straight up accusing Republicans of inciting attacks on Asian Americans through their criticisms of China. It's really looking more and more like China here in America, isn't it? It almost seems like China controls American media. How else can you explain this nonsense? Gee, I don't know. What about four years of claiming that Russia stole the election and that the president of the United States was a Russian agent, with 75 million of his supporters being white supremacists? Afterwards, some Democrats and their media mouthpieces even suggesting drone strikes against their fellow Americans for holding a different political view than they do. But criticism of China, a communist authoritarian state where their minority citizens are held in actual concentration camps is an incitement of attacks on Asian Americans. Does anybody seriously buy this? Look folks, there's nothing wrong with calling it the virus because that's where it most likely came from. And we're increasingly seeing more and more confirmation that it most likely came from the Wuhan lab, something that our side has been saying from the beginning. Now, my next guest led the investigation inside the State Department into the origins of the coronavirus. David Asher spearheaded a task force for the US government into COVID-19, and he was specifically looking at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. It's the initial cluster of victims of uh, COVID-19, and the uh, point of the declassified information that the Secretary Pompeo provided was that we had information that, that there was indeed a cluster and that they worked on COVID-19 itself uh, uh, or related COVID uh, 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 coronaviruses, 
at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which is uh, almost too much of a coincidence to believe. But as I pointed out in yesterday's video, even CNN is admitting this now. Questions remain over the origin of the virus. A new book reveals warnings from U.S. diplomats of risky experiments at a Wuhan lab in 2018. Even the Biden administration has said that they have deep concerns about the WHO uh, investigation that went to Wuhan. Uh, because of some conflicts of interest among the staff, but also because the Chinese government refused to put forth uh, the data that they would really need to figure it out, which means that we still don't know how the virus originated. And that's not just a issue of blame. That's an issue of tracing the origin in order to prevent the next pandemic, which the Biden administration is actually not disputing some of the Trump administration's claims about this very lab, namely that the researchers there got sick in November 2017 with COVID like symptoms and that they were involved in some uh, undisclosed research. It's really looking like this is all part of a greater strategy to silence critics of communist China by people who are either in league with, controlled by, or are being blackmailed by the CCP. That's all I have for this one. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe, and I'll see you all next video.